Sydney is facing a once in 50 year flood emergency tonight. Evacuation orders are in place, thousands of people on alert, with sections of suburbs around the Hawkesbury and Nepean rivers expected to go under. So recently we were just devastated by all the floods that we've had in the Hawkesbury. Our fields were underground for nearly two weeks um, with the amenities block underwater for at least a week. So we've lost, lost all our equipment and everything else. So we lost nearly everything that was in our amenity shed and canines. We had people go down and evacuate the sheds but we didn't think the water was going to get as high as it did. So there was a lot of stuff left behind put on high shelving. So we lost all our electrical stuff, like the fridges and freezers and our slushy machine. Um, and, but all the canoe stock was left behind on the shelves. Jackets were left behind on the shelves, but more importantly, all the mini goals for the little kids, so were left. Um, our training equipment. And once all that stuff's been touched by flood water, it's all contaminated because you just don't know what's in that flood water. So rather than, than risk anything, we just had to throw it all out. Growing up as a, as a footballer in the community as well, it's, it was amazing to see players come out and to be able to give back to um, these communities uh, that have been struggling sometimes with, with recent things. It's, um, it's good to give back, um, just to see the smile on the kids' faces and, and be, being able to help. Oh, it's a great feeling to be able to be out here, see the kids running around, um, still smiling and just playing football. Um, that's the main thing, just as, as long as the kids are happy out there playing football, it's, it's, it's great to see. I think it's good for the kids for us to come down, have a run and a kick with them. And yeah, it's, um, it's good. We've got the two Wanderers players here today. Um, to come down to see everybody. So they're here to give us support for after we've been flooded, to give us a bit of a boost. So, um, yeah, I'm Keanu. And I'm Stephen. And um, yeah, we just wanted to say hey to everyone, run around, um, and just uh, about the community. We wanted to help out. We heard the floods that was pretty severe out your your lowland wanderers' home ground. So um, we wanted to help the club, and we reached out to Mitsubishi Electric, and um, we got a five thousand dollar check for the club wow. to um, yeah. That's fantastic. For you guys to bounce back and, and get back on your feet, and hopefully train at your home ground again, so Thank you. no worries. Oh. That, this is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> the Wanderers of Mitsubishi Electric um, just donated $5,000 to the club. This is going to make a huge difference to what we're able to supply the players and, and kids training around.